Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. Today I would like to speak about St. Teresa of Villa whose feast we celebrate today. She is the doctor of the church and she is known for her prayer life. And she gives us some simple guidelines on how to pray. It is an interesting fact to know that St. Teresa of Villa herself said that the initial years of her prayer life she found it difficult. In fact, she would just wait for her prayer period to end. She would be listening to the clock sound, waiting for the strike of the clock. But then she discovered the secret of prayer. And what is the secret of prayer? A relationship. It's not just words with our mouth, but a relationship with Jesus. Prayer, in my opinion, is nothing else than treating Jesus as a friend. It means taking time frequently to be alone with Him who we know loves us. So that is the secret, not just praying, but a relationship. Like any relationship, the first thing in a relationship is getting to know of the person whom we want to build up this relationship with. So point one is knowing Jesus himself. If a person does not think of whom he is addressing and what he is asking for and who it is that is asking and of whom he is asking it, I do not consider that he is praying at all, even though he be constantly moving his lips. So the key is knowing. And who is Jesus for us? Jesus himself says, I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. So the first point is knowing the Lord, having a kind of understanding, an intimate understanding of the Lord. And the second, flowing from knowing, when you know the Lord, you fall in love with Him. And this is what she says. In order to profit by this part and ascend to the dwelling place we desire, the important thing is not to think much, but to love much. And so do whatever best stirs you to love. So the key is loving, loving much. That's what St. Teresa says. Our heads are the worst place for prayer. They may prepare us for prayer, but ultimately it is our hearts, a loving relationship with the Lord. She also speaks of this relationship, this loving relationship of a husband and wife, because they know each other, they love each other and accept each other completely. They know exactly what the other person wants. That's the kind of knowing, that's the kind of loving. The third thing she tells us in prayer is effort. We need initially to put an effort in prayer. Like any relationship, it doesn't just happen. Initially, there is effort. And she speaks of three ways of getting water. The first is drawing water from the well. There's a regular, daily, constant effort of drawing it. Then you have the wheel well where it's much easier because the water comes up, all that you have to do is pour it. The third way is going to the river. Now the water is flowing and all that you have to do is just take it out, but it's flowing constantly there for you. And finally, this is more rare, but the Lord gives it to us at times, is spiritual rain. Where we experience we do nothing at all, it's totally grace. But the point she makes, with all this effort is faithfulness. If we want to grow in this relationship with God, to know Him, to love Him, we need faithfulness. And therefore for your prayer life, take a look into your prayer life. How faithful are you to your prayer life? And may Almighty God bless you and your effort to live your faithfulness, to live your prayer life. The Father, Son and Holy Spirit, have a wonderful day with Jesus. Do share this video with others and do subscribe to this channel.